Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay, but I go by Her Audacious Sister on Instagram and YouTube. This YouTube channel is a platform for all my sisters with PCOS and any side effects under it. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. It is a hormonal imbalance. It affects every one out of five women across the world. And one side effect that I side effect that I struggle with every single day is hirsutism, which is excessive facial hair, body hair, and a male pattern all over a woman. So this video, as you can see from the title of this video, I'm basically just gonna talk about if you start to catch feelings for a guy that does not know that you have PCOS or if he does, you, does know that you have PCOS. I have made so many videos about dating. <laughs> kind of a story of my life but um, just trying to keep you guys encouraged and inspired that it's not just gonna don't let one day affect your whole life or your whole dating experience don't let it do that like literally go on a date if it doesn't go well go on another one matter of fact like I said another one of my videos date yourself first love yourself so much spoil yourself so much Tell yourself how beautiful you are, how gorgeous you are, how sexy you can be. Have that confidence so when you do get rejected, it doesn't hurt as much because you still know your value and your worth is. Tips that I'm going to kind of basically tell you guys that I have um, used. That has kind of made my dating life more successful. It may not lead to a successful relationship, but going on these dates, following these steps, it has made dating fun like you know the guy knows you know what i expect what i don't expect where my head is where i would like to go so i just want to share those things with you guys <clears throat> so the first thing i say is be upfront about your interest in them now this is kind of tricky because if you met online like most people do and you haven't seen each other yet I guess, so let's just use me as an example. I guess I would say, hey, you know, I'm dating, you know, I date for the intentions of leading to marriage. So um, I think you're pretty cool. You know, I think I would just like to see where this goes. If we're, you know, really good friends, blah, blah, blah. So I even think starting off like that is good because you could go on a date and he may want to just have a one night stand, but because you didn't say nothing when the date is over, he takes you back to his place and wants to go to the bedroom and you're like whoa i thought we we're gonna watch a movie like you know like but you didn't say what you were expecting from the date and message before at dinner at the date you know he has his agenda so we need to have our agenda ladies we have to have an agenda because all men have an agenda and put that in caps all men have an agenda they do my dad told me a long time ago when i think i was probably my teen years he said shayla hunters will sit in the forest rain sleet snow with you know their guns waiting to shoot to kill like waiting let's just say for a deer i almost hate talking about deers because of my car but screw ignore that and he was like they'll sit there all night for days morning rain they won't even move like and i'd be like really dad but I've like experienced dates where guys like, you know, they'll keep trying to do stuff for you. Do stuff that makes you happy. Like all the guys I've dated know that I love candy. Candy almost sweeps me off my feet. Like I love candy. So, you know, they'll give me candy. They'll give me flowers. Uh, take me on some more dates. And if I don't give them what they want, they, you know, poof like the fairy godmother. Like, where did you go? Like, I thought you liked me, blah, blah, blah. But because I didn't tell him what I wanted or what I expected from it, he was trying to almost baby step to get what he wanted, but I wasn't giving it up. Um, another one is talk about deal breakers. Like I said, um, so if I go on a date and I'll say, uh, I'm not having sex until I'm married. The end. You know, like saying stuff like that or... Um, <clears throat> I'm not kissing on the first date. Just saying things that, okay, it's having your morals and your values, like things that you don't want to compromise just because you just met him. Like, you know, like I just said, like kissing on the first date, having sex before marriage, um, 
going away together and staying in the same bed. I mean, you know, you have to have your goals, your morals, and your values. Otherwise, if it's a male or female, people will take advantage of you. People will basically push you or make you do stuff that you never even thought you would find yourself doing, but because you didn't tell them or say what you wanted or expected from it, they didn't know, so you can't really assume that somebody knows anything if you haven't said it. Another tip of advice I would say is ask them if they heal from a past trauma. If that's um, a relationship that um, they're almost getting married and they broke up, if the person, if their spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend died, uh, if they were in a verbally abusive or physically abusive relationship, almost anything that has made them, um, I guess, have kept they've kept that in and kind of tried to go on dates or talk to other people to kind of get over it that doesn't mean that they healed from it i am a number one person who has had many rebounds but i was in denial that he was a rebound because i'm like you know i stopped talking to him like i don't like him no more like i really really like him but that i don't really like him because i haven't actually healed from him so my liking and loving of this man is coming off excuse me to this man and that's not even fair to him because he's thinking something that it's not like he's thinking she really likes me you know we're really going somewhere but i'm not ready honestly but i haven't said that because i'm not healed from that and i have experienced this so much i almost feel like i've wasted a lot of my dating life because i didn't ask that at first because you know like most people you'll be like what was your last relationship like and um, like I said, my baby mama and I were together, um, she cheated on me, or my ex-fiance left me at the altar. Um, the, me and this one guy who I just said, he said that, and we ain't going on no more dates. Not because I didn't want to go on no more dates, but I'm like, because his aggression towards marriage, like he was really like, you know, I'll never get married, I'll never waste all that money again. And I'm like, yeah, well, you're, you know, you're not over this. So this date was fun. I don't see how you can see yourself being with somebody else because you are still very upset about being left at the altar. I could not imagine. That does not get really sucked. Yeah, I just think anything that, you know, you've experienced with somebody and it wasn't like you guys ended on a good note, that's like trauma that you haven't really healed from. That's something that either you need to talk out write about journal about meditate about pray about whatever you got to do but you're not ready like i feel like when you break up with somebody and you go through things you kind of have to be selfish and just focus on yourself because you know you wasted years or months or financially invested in this person and you guys are no longer together and it's like where do i go you know now from here so i feel like that one is a really really good tip that i wish i would have used more often in my past dating relationships because it's almost like closer to the end of us breaking up or the closer to the end of us not talking anymore was based on stuff that happened to them in their past that I had no idea about. Another one I would say is learn each other's love language. My love languages are words of affirmation and gifts. I love accepting gifts. I love giving gifts. I love the words I will, I will text you a book in the morning at 5 a.m i woke up and i thought about you and i'll say hey good morning i hope you have an excellent day today today is a new day i hope that you set out to um, complete all the things you wanted to do today you're going to have a great productive day don't let any negative vibes or don't let anybody put you down look at where you've come from in life Today is Monday and it's gonna be the best Monday of your life. Have an excellent day. I'm thinking about you. Can't wait to talk to you later. Why wouldn't that make you wake up with so much motivation, so much inspiration? Like, yes, I got somebody on my sideline cheering for me. That's what it would do to me. If I woke up to a text like that, I mean, I would feel like I could conquer the world in that one second of reading that text because somebody boosted me up or something as simple as um, a gift. If for me, candy, <laughs> candy or wine. If someone brings me candy or wine, I just feel so special because I feel like you remember that I like Sour Patch Kids or I like the sour, nerdy, um, the nerd candy. I can't even think about where that candy is, but that's like my new favorite candy. Like, so you thought about me, you thought about, you remembered what my favorite candy was and you gave it to me like those are two important things like i was on your mind why did that make somebody feel love like 
Me? Ah, thank you. Like, you know, like, that's me. Like, I will, I love giving people gifts. Like, if I go out the country, let's say I just met the guy, and I go out the country and get him a keychain that says, from Argentina, give it back to him. I mean, some men are different. Some people actually appreciate, even if it just is a keychain, when are you going to ever go to Argentina, you know? Like, you know, she thought about me while she was in Argentina, got me something, and gave it to me. Like, that is thoughtful. Like, I feel like... I'm a very thoughtful person. Like I remember birthdays. I'm a very big birthday person. Like I love showering people for the day that they came into the world. Like you are so special today and every day. But today is your day for 24 hours. So let's live it up. Like I'm very, very into birthdays. But that's just, you know, who I am. That's one of my love languages. So I hope that these tips are able to <coughs> are able to help you guys when you go on a date. <clears throat> excuse me go on a date I hope that they're successful for you because I feel like if you follow this outline or follow these tips on before you go on a date or if you're catching feelings for somebody and you kind of want to see um, where his mind is or how what he thinks of you this is even before you mention PCOS or hirsutism I feel like if you guys can get on the same page with these things when you mention pizza of Western Hershey's it's going to be like a piece of cake. He's going to be like, oh yeah, I um, saw your social media. You know, okay. I think I had an aunt who had what you had. Um, you know, I'm so sorry that you have to go through that, Shay. Like, you know, that's really unfortunate. But, you know, you're so strong and naturally beautiful. You know, you got this. <laughs> Boy, where have you been all of 2021, you know? Like, that's how that would make me feel because it's like... You can, you look past my outer appearance and you have all of my attention. Like I'm going to cut everybody else off because I feel like you have my attention, like you care. And it's almost like you have to care about somebody before you can even say you love them. Because if you say you love somebody in the first couple of weeks because you're actually lusting after their body or what they have, that's lust. That's not love. You have to care. You have to understand. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have to understand somebody and where they're coming from. You have to understand their goals, where they see themselves in the future, what their love language is. So to end this video, like in all my videos, sister, you are so beautiful, uniquely beautiful, just the way God created you. If he likes you for your insides, your outsides, he loves everything about you. Continue with that relationship as far as just letting it flow. If you don't feel like, you know, he won't like you after you mention PCOS or hirsutism, you're going to have to let him go. Because as much as I advocate for PCOS, and as much as I sometimes like to think that I can kind of separate them, I can't. My name should almost be Shayla PCOS. Like, you know, like, it is a part of me. It'll always be a part of me. But I have grown to love this part of me. I always wondered what could I do to fulfill my life? What could I leave behind? What could I do to educate people? What could I do to inspire people? And something that I personally have, or something that I'm personally going through, is like, if I can reach out to other people to see if maybe they go through it, and oh my gosh, there's other people like this that go through things like this with me as far as it's as simple as, simple as dating, waxing and shaving every single day taking different medications to um normalize my hormones different uh exercises that i want to do dang my phone is jumping different exercises that i want to do you know like i just kind of have to <laughs> girl that was my friend <laughs> different things that i want to do that's who that's what makes me me and if you can love that and accept that, then we can be really good friends. Even if it's not like a romantic relationship, even meeting good friends. Like I have met people because of who I am as being somebody that walks into a room, I light it up. I'm laughing, I'm talking, I'm being positive, I'm smiling, I have all this energy. I mean, we attract tight. And then over time, of course, you know, they come over my house, I go over their house, we go out in public and they're starting to see, you know, Shay looks a little bit different. But I'm looking past that about Shay because I love her laughter. I love, you know, the things that she likes. 
she's so cool to travel with. I mean, you can look past that. Even if it's not just with males, it's with my girlfriends too. Like, a lot of my girlfriends didn't even know I had PCOS for years because, I mean, they saw it, but it's almost like, and? You know, so when somebody says something about it in a negative way, it's like, you stay stuck on a lot of things. You stay stuck on the most minor things as well. Even if you met me and I was bald head, like skin bald head, just had eyebrows. I mean, would you ask, do I have cancer or something like that? Or would you just try to get to know me because I'm a human being in your face Life is short, life is sweet. It doesn't matter what I look like. It's, it's where your heart is. It's where do you really, what's the core of your heart? What's the foundation? Are you caring, loving? You know, I just like it goes back to the basics. So I'm, I am know I talked a lot, so this video is really long, but I'm sorry about that. But you guys know I love you so much. I'm here to advocate for you all of 2021 and to infinity and beyond. I am here for you guys. So do not forget to like comment and subscribe share this video give the video a thumbs up if you love it if you hated it give it a thumbs down ask me anything in the comment section down below and i will see you guys very very soon in my next video